Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dabuki here once again. It is time for another MapleStory video. I'm here on my Mercedes Deboking and I am fighting some old school bosses. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and revisit some of these bosses that we probably have not seen in a really long time. And what kind of brought this up was I wanted to go ahead and refight Papalata Pata Pata Puss, the old Mr. Clock boss man in the bottom of Ludibrium Abyss, because I have not seen him in a really long time, so I thought I'd go pay him a visit, and it was really worth it because just the whole travel down there I mean the boss fight was really easy but just the travel there was so nostalgic it was just like going through memory lane because some of those maps that I went through I've been training in them for so long and you know I haven't visited them in a really long time so it's just great and it's like that for a lot of these boss maps and it's just really cool so I hope you guys do enjoy this video and just seeing all the memories pass by your eyeballs so anyways ladies and gentlemen I want to discuss some things with you guys some things that have been in my mind mind and I've been thinking and you guys are probably thinking oh no Deboki's brain has been debokifying again and yes yes it has been ladies and gentlemen these past few months I've been thinking about a lot of different things and this whole thing on like making decisions in life and how do we make the best decisions um, because a lot of times we kind of get comfortable and we don't want to make decisions that are too drastic and makes a huge impact in our life because it kind of puts us out of that comfort zone we like to have backup plans and being able Able to kind of crawl back into our little cozy cave and kind of huddle with all those cute little bears in there but we don't want to just like adventure the world sometimes because it's, it's dangerous and it's risky and I do agree with that but we get stagnant when we make those decisions or we strive for those decisions that are really easily reversible we want to strive for those decisions that are irreversible sometimes and yes there are a lot of horror stories that you know you make a huge change in life and you end up somewhere not good and you're like oh if I just didn't do this it would have been okay but if we don't make decisions or make those choices or chances take those chances sometimes we get stagnant and we get stuck in that whirlpool and we're just going back and forth and I feel like we're not really doing anything we got to strive to move forward and shoot for the river so what kind of brought this up was that I've been kind of working now for almost a year and I've been doing the whole full-time grind and I have no room to talk because people out there have been doing this for you know 40 years their whole life and they're like yeah you know I've been doing it it's going well and all that stuff and they're trucking through it um, but you know right now I have a lot of different passions and desires that I want to do I want to be able to travel and I want to live in Korea for a year or two and be able to kind of work there and see where that takes me and but you know it's just so risky because I have bills to pay I have a dog to feed you know I'm not worried about myself I can find food I'll go scavenge the trash cans or whatever but I, I want to make sure my dog can eat well <laughs> and that's kind of like my worries like when I'm thinking about it um, and I have like responsibilities and stuff and it's just kind of these whole choices of like dropping everything and trying to do this huge career change possibly or just taking some time off and kind of like doing things that I'm really passionate about like YouTube and live streaming I've been really into it lately um, but it's just I don't have a lot of time right now and of course it's nothing like I want to get big and make that my full-time career it's just something that while I'm relatively young and the fire is hot and burning I'm afraid that like later down the road I might lose some of that passion and that not that doesn't only go for YouTubing and live streaming but that's a lot of different things right like traveling or doing some other crazy maybe jobs that we're not really really sure of and I'm not sure if you guys experienced the same kind of feeling before but it's just kind of been what's on my mind lately and it is scary you know I mean I just kind of want to just not change and just kind of be in my comfort zone in my little cave and cuddle with all my cute little pandas but sometimes we do have to make a change and because maybe it's just not healthy for us where we're at right now maybe it's a relationship or a family issue or you know problems or what you want to eat you know, we gotta make those decisions that are sometimes irreversible. Stop kind of whirling around in that same little whirlpool thing. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and letting me, I guess, share some thoughts and ideas that were in my mind. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And thank you so much for all your guys' support. Like always, this has been Deboki, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.